If we're going to do land reform that's meaningful, it has to be at scale. It has to involve very large numbers of beneficiaries on very large amounts of land. In my estimate, at least 60% of commercial farmland has to be redistributed. Uh, and I think that's necessary because otherwise the destructive forms of populism as embodied in the EFF could well take hold, particularly amongst the unemployed youth of the country. If we really want to keep the agricultural economy growing, to feed the, the, uh, the cities as they grow, we have to give it to productive farmers, but we have to give it to large numbers of black farmers. That's, and I think the agricultural industry does not yet fully grasp the significance of the scale issue. Land reform will play a crucial role uh, to economic development, but not on its own. We need to transform what happens in the markets. The problems with many markets right now is their domination by the big players, but also the power of retailers over farmers. So there's a need to transform markets. There's a need to secure diversified markets, particularly for small farmers. So public institutions are critical here. Your universities, your hospitals, your prisons, your boarding schools, and other public institutions, because those are guaranteed markets. And there's no problem with government actually providing a guarantee to small farmers in that regard to ensure that they, have, can get, they can access those secure markets. Society needs to adjust to the new economic structure of agriculture in terms of the retail environment of, of food and agricultural products. I think that's absolutely right. It has major implications for how we function as a society. 